Broncos 38, Lions 10. Very cool moment at the beginning of the game as the Lions honored the late Demarius Thomas. A DT, of course, passed away this past week. He would have turned 34, I believe, on Christmas Day. A real mm. you know, tragic situation. He was an awesome player out of Georgia Tech, former first-round pick. You know, part of those, uh, he was on the championship team in 2015, of course, was a prolific receiver for the Broncos when Peyton Manning was there. And by all accounts, um, there was lots of things shared. Just just a good person who did went out and did a bunch of charitable stuff in the Denver community, beloved by fans. You can see the, the pictures there. And Vic Fangio on Saturday – uh, went and talked to you know his bosses and said, hey, we want to do something to honor DT at the start of the game. So he calls Dan Campbell of the Lions and said, hey, I, I, we're going to send 10 guys out. Um, we're not going to, we're going to, you know, we're not going to run a play. We're going to let the play clock go all the way down. And I just want to let you know, Dan Campbell said, no problem. I'm going to decline the penalty. Go for oh, it. Nice. And, and so they, they go out there, 10 guys on the field. You know, obviously the 11th guy is DT in spirit. Play clock runs down, called for a, a delay of game. Dan Campbell declines it. And Fangio also said the ref was in on, in on the whole – he was aware of the whole situation as well, too. So really cool uh, way to honor him. And then also incredible that uh, the final drive of the game – and this was a absolute clinic from Denver. I mean, Dan Campbell like, throws Vic Fangio that bone, and the, <laughs> Vic Fangio just hangs 38 on him. Yeah. The uh, final drive for the, for the Broncos – that sealed the game, 14 plays, 88 yards. How cool is that? Oh, nice. And then Justin Simmons had a, an interception where he celebrated on the 88 that they had painted on the on the sidelines as well. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I mean, all you know, a lot of these dudes still on the team were very good friends with Demarius Thomas. Just yeah. like, uh, look, good. Denver's now seven and six. They are still in the playoff race, by the way. The Lions won 11 and one. Mm. Not a ton to say about this game. The Lions were dealing with tons of COVID issues. The line for this game was eight and a half. And then it started just spiking up. It got to like 12 and a half eventually because breach, all these Lions players were going to be missing. Someone named Chad Reynolds, I think. Is it Chad Reynolds? C. Reynolds was their leading uh, rusher. Jared Goff, feel bad for the guy. Nothing he could do in this spot. Craig Reynolds, Craig Reynolds but, but you know what you're probably never going to mention his name again on this podcast so it doesn't matter 11 carries Nick, 83 yards good for Craig Reynolds I, I'm just messing around it wasn't Chad Reynolds but no um, but that's that's what it was like I mean this felt like the lock of the day once everything happened the Broncos were fired up ever you know like it was they had the decal on their helmet for Demarius Thomas they you know Peyton Manning got flown in everyone was fired up it, just it looked like they want to go out there and destroy the lines, and that's exactly what they did. Are you saying I shouldn't have taken the lions plus eight and a half? Should not have. Did, did you the take lines. the lions plus eight and a half? It was ten to seven. I was like, oh, they're they're going to hang into this thing, and I turned around and it was four hundred and nothing. They took the seven yeah, points. It was, the <laughs> it was a it was a, it was a beat down. Yeah. It was a beat down. But I mean, the Broncos are definitely in an interesting spot at seven and six because they're in that they're basically tied for. Uh, you know, the last wild card spot, but they're out because of a tiebreaker. You have what five teams tied at seven and six for those final two spots Indy, Buffalo, Cleveland, Cincinnati, and Denver, and then Pittsburgh at six, six, and one. And by the way, Las Vegas and Miami, uh, both at six and seven. By the way, by the way, you're by the way, if the Bengals win that I game, lie. if the Bengals win that game, then they're still in the playoffs and the Bills are out. I think that's correct because Indy had come back in. So the the brown, excuse me. The the Bengals are the only thing keeping the the Bills inside the seven right now. So if the Bengals had won, they would have jumped up to the four spot where the Ravens are because they would have been atop the AFC North. And then the <laughs> remember the Bengals were the one seed like three weeks ago. It's sad, but the the upside is according to John Breach moral victory calculator. They are the number one seed still based on the way that they play today. It was not a moral victory. Nobody They're ever the number said one seed and, and, and punts fumbled on Sunday. Well, you know what? We're, oh! talking, we're talking about the Bengals, and that's who the Broncos play next week, and that really feels like kind of an elimination game. The yeah. loser is eh, loser lose wild, town game. Probably out of the wild card race. Yeah, if you get to if you're if if you're the Bengals or the Broncos. <laughs> <laughs> Victor Garcia says in the YouTube chat the Bengals lost to Mike White. That is pretty the pathetic. Uh, you can you can have fun with us during these shows. 
youtube.com slash pick six hit the alert button if you haven't already you get, you'll get a notification on your phone when we go live i actually get a notification it scares the crap out of me it's like go live with pick six podcast in 30 minutes i'm like what what <laughs> 30 minutes um anywho. yeah i think i think the cincy denver game is if you're seven and seven have to win all, i i can't see either one of those teams winning all three of their games to close out and nine and eight is just not getting you in the playoffs in the AFC. So well, we all three predicted the Bengals to win the the division. And now I don't know, like, where's the game preach? In Denver. Denver. Mm. So that's going to be Denver minus two. How's that uh, feel for wins over Wilson? I think the Bengals are favored, aren't they? Did we? Oh no, we didn't uh, look at the, that game. The Broncos are favored by one at Caesar Sportsbook. There you go. Wins over Wilson's pretty good. That's a that's a tough one. I don't exactly. That's my. That's where I was going next. Yeah. Just got to be one. All right, Chargers and Giants with Bengals three. 